All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope now my voice is giving good. Let me know, please, if we have any problem. Is the sound coming good? Please inform me. There is no sound. I think maybe some people are playing games here. All right. So uh, today, uh, this video will be short. We will make long videos, as I explained, and short videos. Uh, some of you say, like from Indonesia, from some location where they have bad internet, they said our internet is slow and your video is so long. And really, we want to share your video, but uh, we cannot download it because it's so long. So we will keep our long videos, but not every day. And in the same time, we will give you a snack. Today, our snack is not a good snack. As you see, we have a, a picture of Pupu. This is a lady carrying a Pupu picture. And today, our miracle about the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, doing an amazing miracle when he wanted to do poo-poo. If you remember, uh, uh, there is a, uh, we mentioned before that the Muslim believe, according to them, that when the Prophet, he do poo-poo, uh, the earth open its mouth and swallow his poo-poo and his pee, which is a true, by the way. And not only that, that his poop is smell like perfume, smells so good. And actually, if you have my books, you will see Muslims fighting over his pee and fighting over his abolition water. But today, our topic is different. Today, the, the, the miracle is beyond imagination. Uh, you know, the Muslims will say, Christian friends, he say things as usual. Whatever you say to them, they say, it doesn't say that. Well, it says that. And if the story is there, they will say to you, the guy who reported the story is rejected. This is your story. This is your story not ours secondly if you are saying to us that your muslim books have stories which is stupid stories and you don't approve it why this story was approved for the last 1400 years but today because people are getting smarter more educated you are ashamed of this stupidity so you say oh this story is rejected we know the propaganda and they have always ready answer this is uh, sunan al-durami uh, 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 the book of the Sunan of Abdullah ibn Bahram at the Rami, volume number one, page number 10. Now, the, uh, the, the text is in, in Arabic, so you will not understand. But what we would do as usual, we will use Google translation for the best uh, result. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, I don't have the, the, the same book in English. If anyone have it in English, let me know. Uh, it says here, and Ibn Umar, I'll read in Arabic first, and then we go to English. Uh, we were with Rasulullah, we were in a journey with uh, with the Prophet of Allah, and an Arabian man came to him, etc., etc. And the man, he says to him, uh, uh, you know, like convert to Islam. And then the guy, he said to him, the Arabian guy, he said, I will not, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, we want to see if Muhammad is a Prophet or not. So, uh, the conversation reporting that the Arabian said to Muhammad uh, that I heard from my from my people uh, that if I want to convert to Islam, I have to say something. And Muhammad told him, "You have to say the shahada." I'm just giving you a summary. And then, uh, and then the the man uh, he said to him, "And who who witnessed that you are a prophet? You know, who witnessed like you are a prophet?" So the prophet he ordered. A little tree and the tree came and she took shahada she came from the other side of the valley and she take uh, she came and took shahada and she was grieving in her belly the tree she said the shahada three time and then the guy he converted to islam saying say, saying the shahada too for sure and then the tree went back to its place and the the arabian man he went to his people and he told them uh, like about what amazing uh, story what happened so this page there's two miracles actually this is the first one about Muhammad ordering the tree to walk to him and the tree coming to convert to Islam but the second miracle and I will highlight the light for it it says here that the Prophet uh, and Jabir Jabir is saying uh, I went with the Prophet Allah pray on him and salute him remember he pray for not to in a, in a in a journey and he never
arrive to a place which is empty land and there is no trees and there's nothing uh, like nothing to hide behind and then uh, the prophet he says Jabir uh, do you have some water with you you know uh, like, get us some water and then we walk and then we could not you know we keep walking until we found nothing except we found two trees between the two trees, between there is like four meters or four arms. And then the prophet said to Jabir, Jabir, go to those trees. Let me zoom in. Jabir, go to those trees and tell them that to go to one of the trees, go and join the other one, which means to other, the other tree. So the prophet, he can sit behind you. So he went and he told the tree, and the tree went <laughs> and did poo poo behind the tree. And when the tree, the prophet finished his poo poo, the tree went back to its place. Let us translate this into English, you know, uh, English translation. Now, English, the, the Google translation will not really be too much accurate. But as you see here, we found a tree. And there is, uh, uh, there is like, uh, there is two tree. Between them, there is like four arms. And he said, Jabber, go to the tree and tell to the other tree to join the other tree, you know, so the prophet, he can sit behind you. You see it? And the tree did walk, and the prophet did his poop behind the tree. So Muhammad, uh, uh, here, he made an amazing miracle, which is proven to be true. And for sure, there's witnesses, as you see. Uh, Tree moved from a place to the other place so the prophet can sit behind the tree and you know if you think about it if the prophet is not a prophet how in the world such a miracle will happen you know this is a miracle of like a, a bathroom and this is again Sunan uh, uh and this is the, the the name of the author value number one page number 10 now here we notice that uh, you know the Quran says that Allah he refrained from giving miracles and we notice that the Quran never mentioned those miracles so why it is here we cannot find it in the Quran why those miracles are not to be found in the Quran why Allah he tell us stories about nobody knows where I mean uh, about prophets who did miracles before Muhammad from the old days like uh, David Suleiman uh, a, a prophet his name is Saleh he have a camel uh, uh, you know speaking about people we do not know and tell us about details of miracles, which is silly. So how come Allah did not mention this miracle in the Quran? Any Muslim can tell us? How we cannot find in the Quran that Allah Prophet Muhammad, he ordered a tree to walk, and the tree she spoke in Arabic and she says shahada. You see what I'm saying? How this is how, how this is cannot be found in the Quran? Obviously, there is something stupid and something silly, you know, silly, right? So, ask yourself such a question. Try to find an answer, and if you find the answer, let me know. I find that those stories made by the Muhammadan about the funny, silly, stupid prophet Muhammad, and here they, and they reach in their in their in their fallacy to the point they are making even his poo poo is about miracles, especially the miracle which speak about the when when he do poop. The earth open its mouth and swallow his poop, which is very amazing. Or his his uh, his uh, his piss is smells so good, you know. So uh, uh, everything in this cult is a collection of fairy tale stories. My my voice is cutting. I don't know what to do. And maybe I need to do reset the microphone. I'm not sure. I want to buy a new microphone. I'm updating my equipment. Anyway, guys. Maybe from from your side, sometime it get low. We are using a free service for broadcasting. YouTube changed their their uh, broadcast. It's not as usual before. Anyway, so we will keep it short, and you can download it, share it with your friends, and let the Muslims give us answers. Feel free if you are a Muslim, and to tell us why those miracles are not exist in the Quran, and isn't it worth it to mention? I mean, Suleiman he's he heard the ant. The Quran mentioned the story. What about Prophet Muhammad ordering the trees to walk and say shahada or ordering the tree to join together so he can do poo poo. 
why Allah did not mention it in the Quran Muhammad is not important all those are fabricated miracles they've been added long 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 after the Quran is made leave your comment and tell us what do you think and forget about those kids who you know trying to insult us we are better than this you know we gave them their lesson and we get them busted and let us see if they dare even to go to the speaker corner people are waiting for them to laugh at them so forget about those kids let us do good work and more to come thank you for being here guys and uh, tomorrow we will be live on air again and our topic will be very interesting christ is lord islam is false and we prove it every day and from now on if you see a tree in the backyard of somebody and you want to do poo poo try i mean what you will do is order the tree to walk together join and say shahada and let us see if it's going to happen those miracles only happen with the poop of the prophet for his poop is special and allah always he wanted him to be uh, uh like uh, special in everything in his poop in his piss in everything you can imagine thank you and god bless take care